Everybody, this is the Freakers Ball live coming at you on RealLibertyMedia.com on this Friday, October fifth, two thousand eighteen. Oh yeah, we're into the October stuff right now. Yes, we are. We're into the October freaks. Moose, Moose. Hola. There you are. <laughs> Here I are. All right. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I forgot to turn my mic on right away. Anyway. (laughs) Uh, Oh, technical glitch. Anyway, so uh, welcome, everybody, to the Freakers Ball right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. We are live, as we are every week, pretty much, mostly, Mostly. 99.3%. Don't quote me on that stat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're live here. We're live on the RLM radio stream as well, which goes everywhere in the world. Uh, maybe close to everywhere in the world. There's probably some places like North Korea. They don't get us, you know. <laughs> anyway, but probably we are live. Not. What's that? Probably not in uh, North Korea. Yeah, probably not in North Korea. But other than that, I think we're, we're pretty well got the, got the globe covered. We're on the freedomsnetwork.com. We're on the realliberty.org. We are on the rlmradio.xyz. We're on the tune in. We're on the internet radio. We're on we're on our realliberty.media.com. <laughs> and yeah. if, and if you really, I mean if you go to realliberty.media.com and you see that little thing at the top it says show pages and you hit you just kind of hover over it, it will say, "Hey, Freakers Ball show page right here." So just click that, and you'll be there on the show page, and you can see the video, and you'll be styling. You'll be you'll be in it to win it. I don't know what that means. Anyway, um, but you'll be in it. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, so uh, I, I think we're I think uh, yeah, and we have a chat room here on that page, and also just if you want to go to irc dot freeno dot Chat dot net dot chat dot ir dot free node dot whatever free node. <laughs> uh, I think I use irc dot free node dot net, but uh, there's other ways to connect. Uh, a- a- anyway, but okay. it's it, but it's there on the, on the on the show page that you can come in and talk to us and say howdy hi, all that stuff. Right. 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 And we got a good bunch of great, great folks here in the chat room here. I see that on IRC. We got, the, we got, the, we got the barman bot. We got the cowboy. Yep, he's always here. He is always here. We got cowboy tech, and we got you and me. Yep. Miss Kate, the new guy, Art Underground. He'll be doing a show here on yeah. sun, su- on Sundays following Hal. So cool, very uh, cool. So on Sunday you'll have uh, seven solid hours of live programming from the blues awesome. from the blues to the howl to the heart. Nice. So, yep. That'll be starting uh, not this Sunday but the next. All right. Cool. We got very Miss, cool. Yeah. We got Miss Beth Z and uh Cal Sedoni. Chloe E and the Cyborg Noodle. <laughs> Echelon, Echelon, Gramsci. Thank you very much for the podcast there, Gramsci, or the uh, the uh, whatever the blog thing. And we got the Grom- Gromit and Don C and Don C. Don C got me with a fake duck earlier. Did you see that? <laughs> I did not. First time I've ever followed for that trick. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got Kozu, we got Larry, we got Poxified, Poxophone. Pone Sauce, Rain, the Fluke Bot, uh, Robworks, Rome, Skittle, Vin E, the Phantom, Asmo 2, no Asmo 1, as is Asmo also. Anyway, Colfax 101, Dakota, Frumpy, JJ999, JJ's Sock Puppet, and Woodrow, not Wilson, just Woodrow. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we we don't want Woodrow. We don't need that guy coming back from the dead. Uh, he's the last person we need. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Anyway, so, um, um, what else are I thinking about? What's going on? Uh, I'm done being a billing clerk. I'm starting my new job on Monday. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. It'll be good. It's something different. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, other than that, not much. <laughs> Except uh, the Brewers are winning. The Brewers. They're, yeah, they're yeah. they're in the postseason. Okay. In the, a battle with the Rockies, just five games, and so they're already is, two games ahead of them. So. so is this like the what? what are they, they could in? win it tomorrow. The division, the division uh, champion. Amer American League. What, what? What are they in? National League. National League. Yep, I think so. Okay, okay. Don't ask me these things. I get mixed up. Well, I don't know what the hell. American and national. I, I, the, anyway, I, they're doing good. <laughs> Sunday they play again. I, I at remember. I remember the the Padres were in the uh, National League. Okay. I guess they still are. I, I don't know. <laughs> not now. Not this year. What? Well, they're in the National League. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's all I was saying. But I, not I in the playoffs, the, you know, the uh, whole season. Oh, how, how did they do? They won two games. Oh, how the Padres do? Oh, I no, they won I two games know. the whole year? What? They won two games the whole year? No, in the series. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, Graham. Right. It's all right. It doesn't no, matter. Okay. It's just a distraction. All right, it's so just you're, something that you know. I like baseball. I grew up no, watching I, it. I, you know, I, I know you do. It's a thing. It's, it's just a distraction, though. It doesn't mean anything. Right, right. So really. that's cool, though. As just long as long as you as long as you enjoy it, and you know, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Other than that, um, the Wild started playing again. Hockey season started again. National the National Hockey League. Are they are they like a uh, what do you call them? Minnesota Wild. They're a pro team. Okay, so they're not like a what a junior league team. What do you call them? No, guys? no, they're in the NHL. <laughs> a training they're, team. They're from Minnesota, but it's the closest. I mean, I could be a Blackhawks fan, but Chicago is a lot farther than St. Paul. So it's like, no, I'm not going to be a Blackhawks fan because I grew up hating the Blackhawks. I really did. Yeah, so you're from, you're from Minnesota. Stars fan. And when we played the Blackhawks, it was always a battle, dude. And I will never be a Blackhawks fan. I right, couldn't. and you're from Minnesota, so. Yeah, so I gotta be a Wild fan. I mean, that's all there is to it. Right, right, yeah. Sure. And I'm going to be supporting the high school hockey team again this year because even though my son is done and graduated, I know the goalie that's playing this year, and I know his parents, and I'm and I know other players that are on the team, so I'm going to support them. And I love hockey. So it works. Terrific. Yeah. So you know, it gives me something to do. You know, I'm bored. Oh. My kids are like moved out. Basically. I mean, well, Matt's still living here, but Zach's moved out. And this weekend, Matt's up at his dad. So it's like I need something to do. You know? uh, all right. No, I get it. I get it. It's, uh, you're a, you know you're 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 a, a, you like to do various. Activities such as that. Well, it's better than just sitting around and doing nothing. I mean, does, I work does anybody to make money basically just to pay my bills. The things I do like are inexpensive, you know, forms of entertainment that I can, you know, I'm not just a freaking couch potato, you know. Well, I, I mean, is not it, that I ever would be, it, but it isn't isn't watching sports pretty much one of the major activities of a couch potato? Well. It can be, but no, usually I'm on my computer, it's on the living room I'm listening to, or I'm listening to it on the radio. I, I listen to Wild on the radio all the time. Okay. Like, I don't sit on the couch and watch games, though. I did for a little bit today when the Brewers were playing, but like for ten minutes. <laughs> right, right. I just turned the volume up so I could hear what's going on, and something good happens, I run in there. Ah, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, cool. That's cool. And the the uh, cable company is fucked up. Charter, of Spectrum, course. whatever. All all cable they, companies are fucked up. Well, well, yeah, they all are. But I mean, no, <laughs> even Dish Network and Directv, those are fucked up too. I've had all three of them. Okay, I've had AT and T. Well, four things. I've had AT and T. I've had Dish Network. I've had Directv, and now I'm on Charter Spectrum, right? 
Anyway, and it's a bundle, so I have a phone, TV, and internet. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, last night, at about midnight, the internet just dies. And so I go on my phone. I'm like, well, let's see if the phone's dead. You know, of course not. Verizon wasn't dead, right? Right. Spectrum was. All these people, I go on Facebook, all of a sudden I see this post from Advice and advice no Claire. Anyone else lose internet? You lose charter? I'm like, yeah. You know, all these other people, yeah, we lost it, we lost You know what I mean? It was down for like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. No explanation. You know, all of a sudden it comes back on. People are like, it's back, it's back, you know. And my kid was all pissed because he was trying to play video games. Well, oh, boo-hoo. But anyway, um, <laughs> as soon as it's back on, we're like, it's back. I mean, it's crazy how you freak out. Yeah, you know? well, you know. I, you get pissed, you know. I, I understand completely, totally. You know. When, when Apparently my... they were doing some upgrade. It's like you could give people, like, a heads up ahead of time. You could. Like, say, send out an email. Hey, by the way, we're going to be shutting down the internet for this time, you know, at midnight for this long of time. So, just so you know. You know what well, I mean? Well, uh, here, here, here's, the, here's the thing, though. If you tell people ahead of time, everybody's going to know. And if you right. don't do it, if you don't tell them ahead of time and you do it at midnight, most people are already asleep. Right, that's what they <laughs> figure, you know. So, so the amount of people which, uh, bitching and whining about it is going to be, you know, a, a ten, tenth of, of normal. Exactly, yeah, right. So. But still, if you're doing it at midnight, like you said, not as many people care because they're sleeping or whatever, you know. Right. So why not just let people know? Like I said, you know, because... Were, I mean, I said I didn't pay my bill. If, if, if you tell people up front... Oh, I was going to go out and pay my bill, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Everyone thought they, like, got shut off or something. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. people, not funny, you know. I understand. But whatever, it is it is what it is. It is what, what it is, what it be like. It was just weird, and it was funny because all these people were on Facebook instantly, like, did, there, did you lose Charter? You know what I mean? Everyone's like, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you because you, you have a phone that has internet. Yeah, well, the TV was still on, so me and Matt figured out it had to be something with the internet because... The TV channels were still on, but then even some people were saying they lost TV too. But we didn't. We we only lost internet. It was really yeah. it was really weird. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't have internet on my phone. So. Oh, see, that's what Matt said though. He goes, "It can't be your bill, mom, because we still have TV on. If you were shut off, and not paying your bill, we wouldn't have TV." I'm like, "True." Right, and your phone too, right? Right, the phone would be dead. Yeah. So I knew it wasn't the bill. I'm like, I paid the bill. That's not the bill. <laughs> but it was just funny how everyone just starts freaking out. Oh, yeah. Well. And I told Matt that. I go, that's because if they do it at midnight because they know not as many people are using it. Right. You know? The piss off some of the people, not all of the people. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, that's about it. I mean, nothing major. All right, let's well, find let's, go. let's uh, kick it off with some jams here. Let's do that. And uh, this first song we have for you folks is, uh, well, it's kind of the state of the world at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably a bad song then, huh? No, no well, it's, a, it's a great song, but it's the state no, of the no, world. I'm <laughs> the band is play the, a bad song. Uh, the, the band is No FX. The, tune is called The Idiots Are Taking Over. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the that's our rhythm Sophie there with uh, the Tom Stormy trio doing rockabilly rhythm. And uh that was a sock puppet request. And by the way, uh sock puppet, just so you know. Hands off. That girl's mine. Anyway, <laughs> before that, we had a Beth and Z request, R-E-M, and Losing My Religion. And we kicked it off there with no effects, and the idiots are taking over. So, there's that. Yes, they are. There well, they have is been for a that. While, but... <laughs> yeah, the idiots have taken over at this point in time. <laughs> yes. There ain't really much more... Uh, 
Yeah, it, it's done. It's a done deal. Pretty much. <laughs> done deal. Yeah, it sucks. I know, oh, man. What the hell? What the yep. hell? Sucks. It's just it. <sighs> ah. I know. Yeah, you know, you gotta just deal. I mean, I don't know. You know, you gotta just deal with it. Sure. The best you can. Yeah, yeah. Do you do what you do? You do what you can do. Yeah. So. Um, you know. Anyway, how's the uh, how's your how's your weather out there? You, uh, you getting oh, in? You getting it, it's cold. It's rainy and cold. It, it was raining like off and on all day, like misty. Uh, are are your like, leaves? Not a hard rain, but it, uh, it's chilly. I've been wearing my winter jacket to work in the morning. Are are your leaves falling? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, they're falling. They're changing colors and they're falling. All right. It looks really beautiful, though, actually. Well, you know, I, I, yeah. Fall is my favorite time of year, so I it doesn't really great. bother me. But winter is not my favorite time of year. Right. Well, I, I deal know. with it good, though. You know, I've been growing up. I've grown up in the Midwest for my whole life, so I know how to deal with it. <laughs> now let's see. I don't think I saved a link for this today, but. Uh... Let me see if I can find one real quick here. All right. Copper convicted. Let's just pull one up. I know there's going to be some here. Let's see. Okay. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right. On Vice. Yeah, let's take the Vice link. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why Jason Van Dyke's conviction matters. Cops are almost never guilty of on-duty murder. So today, what? The, uh, what? They, they almost are never found guilty of, of murder. That's true. Murder. Anyway, the verdict against Officer Van Dyke marked a historical day in Chicago, where a cop has not been convicted of murder on the job in nearly 50 years. So, um, uh, did did you hear? No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, about the cop that got convicted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, I did hear that. Okay, good. So it says murder charges against law enforcement officers are rare, convictions Maybe. even more so. But on today, on yesterday, it says on Thursday. I thought yeah, it was done. Yeah, I thought it was today, but anyway, uh, a jury in Chicago found a white cop guilty of second degree murder for shooting Laquan McDonald in a black turn teenager sixteen times. It might have been today because there was like riots. Well, not riots, but just like marches today because of it. Like right? Perhaps. Yeah, I, I thought it was today, but but the article says Thursday. I don't know why. Um, uh, anyway, so so they they convicted the asshole, um, uh, the murderer and scumbag. The verdict against Officer Good. Jason Van Dyke marked a historical day in Chicago, which hasn't seen a murder conviction in 50 years of a of a piggy piggy pig. But uh, also a landmark moment on a national scale. Van Dyke is the third law enforcement convicted officer. Third. Third law enforcement officer convicted of on-duty murder uh, charge since 2005. Wow. So that number should be so much 15 higher. 15 years ago. That, that, should, that number should be so much higher. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Philip Stinson, an associate professor of criminology at Bowling Green University, who tracks police mis misconduct, told Vice News. Van Dyke was also charged with 16 counts of aggravated battery with a firearm, one count for each bullet he fired into McDonald, who was 17 years old. Prosecutors said Van Dyke fired 13 of the 17 bullets while McDonald was laying on the ground. Right, yeah, that's just uh, lovely. And it says, of, of the 96 law enforcement officers charged with murder or manslaughter of a civilian since 2005, which is when Stinton's data set began, just 34 have been convicted of a crime stemming from the shooting. Not murder, only three of them for murder. Uh, 34 have been convicted of something. Anyway, a vast majority of those convictions were for lesser offenses than murder, like involuntary manslaughter, reckless homicide, or negligent homicide. Sixteen convictions were entered by guilty plea at 18, were 18, including the case of Ed Dyke, by jury trial. Convictions in 20 of the cases are still pending. 
The rarity of murder charges against police officers has a lot to do with the fact that police are held to a much higher standard. Shouldn't that be in reversed? Uh, than civilians when they kill people. Generally speaking, officers need only prove that they had reason, <laughs> reasonable fear for their lives. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and basically, they can say that about every time they shoot, kill somebody. Right. Oh, I was every in, time. I was a fear. I was a fear for my life. Yeah, I, I was afraid for my life. Yeah. You know, and then they find out the dude had a cell phone or a fucking um, game, you know, video game controller. Or a, a fucking brush. Oh, I thought it was a gun. What? Uh, it, was a, it was a spatula. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God, people. <laughs> Oh man! So anyway, I, 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 it's good to see this guy. Um, and, and apparently, uh, I, I think somebody posted in there in the chat earlier that he, he'll get a minimum of six years. Um, good. And a maximum. Of, I mean, like Kate says, he wouldn't have been charged if the video had not been. Released. Oh, absolutely so not! A absolutely not. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, the evidence was just too clear, cut and dry, that they had to convict him. You know, there's other times when they get these videos and they can, the jury can be like, oh, well, we can't see everything. Well, and it mentions that here. It mentions that here in the article. It says, I don't think Van Dyke would have been convicted or even charged, frankly, without the video evidence, said Stinson. McDonald was carrying a knife, and without the video, the police would have successfully maintained the shooting was legally justified. Sure. And, it, and, and he had like a pen knife, you know. Yeah, it was a stoop. It was not something that and, and, and he, he was, cops were there could put in control. He was running away. He was down the road, you know. And, yeah, it was. It, it's ridiculous. So I'm, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So anyway, it's good. That's a good thing, you know. If they could start yeah. get, start getting more of these guys, hey, whatever. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Sock Puppet says, got everything turned up to 100%, and I can't make out the show unless I lean into my lap up top. Usually, Freakers works at 50%. Uh, anybody else have an audio problem, or just Sock? I mean, er everything looks to be normal on my end, as far as... I don't know. As far as I, I can see, my levels are right up there. So, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? No answer? I have no idea. Okay, Beth finds it loud at 45%. You can't make out what I'm saying. Really? That's <laughs> weird. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know either. Hmm, weird. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know. Boost is usually a little louder than Grim. Well, right, um, always. I, I don't know. I, it, it Turn might, me down a little bit. Turn me down a little bit, I guess. I did already earlier. I usually do when you call in, but... Right, right. Um, I don't know. Weird. Get to uh, turn on your afterburners or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> sock puppet magic. <laughs> do your sock puppet magic. Back out of spells. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Not sure what that's about. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> fuck that pig. Hope he gets maximum, maximum time. Oh, uh, I don't want to. Okay, everybody else is good. Something wrong with you, Sock? I don't know. I don't know, man. Sorry, dude. Uh, anyway. I mean, okay, so Kavanaugh gets nominated. No, he's not. He's which is, well. You know, which I pretty much knew was going to happen. He's, I mean, he's, he's, I don't, I'm not for the guy, not against the guy. I'm fucking, you know what I mean? All I know is that it's true about this college mentality, this behavior, especially back, like, in the 80s or whatever, that it was all about partying and puke until you could fucking puke and shit. It was about that. It was. And there was a fucking different, it was a different time because it was the 80s, so there was a lot of um oh, what's the freaking word I want to say here the party atmosphere involves sex okay, 
I'm it not does. saying it's right, but it did. I mean, if you think about movies like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, you know, um, it was kind of glorified to go to a party and get dr- a tagger or whatever and act stupid or get drunk, so drunk that you fucking end up getting fucked, you know, or sexually assaulted, I guess. But, um... Yeah, gir- girl, I tell you, man, girls I, girls were sexually assaulting me all the time at these parties. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I, I didn't say no. Lucky dude, you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say no. <laughs> right. Okay, so it, it is on both sides, right? Sure. Male and, men and women, you know? Absolutely. When people are drinking. Their inhibitions get less or whatever. You know what I mean? Not everybody, but some people that drink. Generally speaking. You know what I mean? Yeah, generally speaking. They, like, throw caution to the wind, you know, um, and you get in certain, you can get in certain (laughs) circumstances that you don't want to be in because of that. Nice one, Um, Kate. (laughs) I I remember going, I went to many parties in high school and after high school. Uh Uh-huh. Piggers, you know, and... They're playing music, you know, some of the girls are dressed up, like, you know, we always try to dress like we were hot, you know. And it was glorified in the movie to do these things, to get drunk and try to get laid. Sure. That was glorified, and it has been. I don't think it's gone away. I think it still is. Yeah, what was that, uh, that, that one, that movie with Rodney Dangerfield? Hey, we're all gonna get back laid. To <laughs> well, back to school. Yeah, we're all gonna get laid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in National Lampoon, even fucking um, yeah, the nerd, the nerd movie, the nerds, Revenge of the Nerds, Revenge of the Nerds, same principle. This college drinking on campus, you know, uh, trying to get a chick to screw ya. Sure. At a party, that was the gist of it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, and it was the mentality. So all this stuff these guys said about their college days were true. Right. You know, were true. I mean, because the mentality was like that. I lived there. I lived in through it. Okay? Yeah. And that was the way it was. And I'm not saying that women are totally innocent, because they're not. Like I said... The goal was to dress hot, right? The goal sure. was to try to hook up with somebody sexually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, that was the goal. Right. Right. And when you're drinking, you know, but I'm not saying sexual assault's right, because it's not. And I'm not of course about, it's not. <laughs> I'm talking about consensual, but when someone's so wasted that they can't really, they don't know what they're doing, that's not consensual anymore. Oh, he's playing the clip from fucking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's a funny movie though. You gotta. Oh yeah, that's a great film. Know? That's a great film. Spicoli, man. You know, you know. Okay, and 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 for this woman, I get it because you know it took balls to get up there and talk about this, but at the same time, she was there, and you can't tell me she didn't think that way because I'm I'm the same age as these people, okay, and I remember. I didn't forget what it was like in high school at these parties and shit. Right, right. You know? And the goal was the same for both men and women. Sure. Yeah, okay? absolutely. Pe- people it wanted was. people wanted sex, you know? Right. You don't dress up like, like you're fucking hot, you know, all hot and shit with miniskirts and shit unless you're looking to hook up with somebody. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's and I'm sure that's still true today. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, kids are kids. Hormones are hormones. You know, you, right. you, you, you can't. Hook up you, with somebody. You, you can't get past that. That's a right. You can't. It's a it's a rite of passage. Yep. So. To be sexually assaulted? No. No. But the goal of going to these kegger parties is to get fucked up and hopefully get laid. Right. I, I'm just saying. That's how it was. That's probably how it still is. Sure, sure. You know, so I'm saying she's she's 
partly responsible for being sexually assaulted because she put herself in that situation. And she was probably... Did, did everyone say what she was wearing or anything? Or was she completely 100% sober? Uh, I don't think she was. I'm sorry, I but her, I her, her story, I, it's not 100% true. For one thing, it was like fucking 30 fucking years ago. 35 years ago. All right? Right. So. And uh, I don't think it was traumatic. I, you know, it was bad if she was assaulted, but at the same time, you know, what was her goal of going to the party? You know, I you know I remember being that age and being that you know being in that situation. Sure. So I just I think that he uh, he was honest, brutally honest about his past. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. You know, I don't know. He, she wasn't. Here's, 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 here's the thing. He's a scumbag. Well, he is because he's a judge. Because that's law enforcement. Well, he's and he's and he's also man. He, he's also partially responsible for the Patriot Act. A lawyer. Okay, right. well there you go. Okay, and she's a scumbag, and the yeah, people. Yeah, she's a CIA related. Well, well FBI, she, but uh, anyway, yeah, oh, yeah. and the people that pushed her into it are scumbags. The people like yeah. Fein, Feinstein, totally. Pelosi. Yeah, they're yeah. all scumbags. Yeah, they're so screw them all, man. I, I don't. It's I couldn't. Just a big fucking. I, I, I don't. I, I, I couldn't. Dog and pony show. I, I could not ca possibly care less if this guy gets put on the Supreme Court or not. Or not, <laughs> right? That's how I feel. I hate. I don't like them. I, I I don't like government. I hate government, and they're all fucking scumbags. Like yeah, that. absolutely, absolutely, and and you're exactly right, sock. It's the you know. Nobody expect well, I don't know about nobody, but nobody here probably expected oh. the circus to play out any differently yeah, than it did. Yeah, that's what it was, circus. And, and, and you know, it, it's not to quite... To keep people divided. To keep people divided on the issues. See, their main, one of their main tactics is to keep people divided. Because pe divided people are easier to control. To sure. So, think about that. There's power in numbers, people. I've said this so many times on the show, but if you're, it, it's good enough to be repeated. Every three well, months, see months. now that that's there. That's we may, may differ a little bit there, sock puppet. You say epic government failure, but I, I think it was all according to plan. So I, I, yeah, I don't think it was true. a failure. Uh, I think it was. Um, <laughs> I think it was right on the script. You know, <laughs> I don't think there was anything yeah, in it's, there. That, it's, that was, you know, and, and it's not quite over yet. Apparently, on that one, they still got to do the thing. Um, but like Kate says, spring break is marketed as one big party slash orgy. Yeah, it still is. It was when I was in high school, and it still is. It's marketed <laughs> as get drunk and get fucked. I mean, if that's what it's, that's what they marketed it as. Oh, sure, that's what sure. That's what people there. Because they're all young and their hormones are raging and shit. Yeah, no, and, and it's, you know? it's like I everywhere, mean, bikini too. bikini contest, what t-shirt contest. I mean, it's all about fucking drinking and sex. You can't, so all these people are like, well, I believe her, and she's right, and, and you know, it's like, come on, think, put it in context now. Think about it. Put yourself in that exact, put yourself in a tigger in the 1980s, and tell me that, you know, this isn't normal shit that happened, because it was normal shit that happened. Well, uh, let me just, let me just say this, Kate, if Lindsey Graham is the leading man in any story, it's a bad story. <laughs> Right. That's a terrible story. You that guy. That. He's a fucking piece of shit. He's he's a gross individual. <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. This is and you know this this is a bug me. We have the same piece of shit. I mean, it would be a bit more refreshing if there was different pieces of shit instead of the same old piece of the fucking. Shit. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, come on. I'm sick of seeing the same old fucking piece of shit every fucking day. You know. Let's. Hey. let's Bring a new piece of shit it, in. It, it gives them something to talk about on the news to keep the people. Right. Ooh, this that happened. Ooh, look at what happened here. Ooh, and it's like some Hollywood gossip thing, you know? Right. Just like, like oh my hey, fucking god, isn't this hey, supposed to be about hey, yeah uh, certain <laughs> things that we've been forced down our throats to believe from school? Yeah. You know, and then we turn around, we become adults, and we're like, what the fuck? This isn't what they fucking. This ain't true. What they fucking forced on our throats. Is not fucking true. 
Yeah. You know, some people can't see that, but I guess I was one of the lucky ones. I don't now, now, I have an article here that might be somewhat related to the uh, idiocy um, that, that's going on, but they, they talk about it as if it's a bad thing, and I, and I kind of look at it as if it's a good thing. But it says here that woefully uninformed, 81% of Americans under 45 would fail basic U.S. citizenship tests. Oh, I'm sure. Well, that's good, because who who needs to know that crap? Well, actually, I, I think it's good to know it, and then, and then, and then just ignore it after you, after you learn it, because... But either way, it says, uh, the overwhelming majority of Americans have no clue about their history or civic, no. or civic culture. Right. Uh, with only 36% of natives able to pass the U.S. citizenship civics test taken by foreigners. And yet, these are the people you got out there protesting against foreigners. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it says, surprisingly enough, those born with the inherent right to be called Americans, an inherent curse to be called Americans, how about that? failed to answer even the right. basic questions about their history and culture. A national survey released, see, I could pass this thing easily, and, my, and I yeah, think most, pe most people here could pass it easily. But, right. but we're, oh, not, okay. we're not those, yeah. those average Americans. Anyway, the survey released by Woodrow Wilson National Fellowship Foundation, and probably most of them don't know who Woodrow Wilson is, or was, um, there are a hundred civics questions on the naturalization test which immigrants must answer to gain the uh, U.S. citizenship. Don't they know what they're getting into? What they're walking into? Anyway, yeah, not. Uh, candidates are asked ten questions from the entire list and are required to answer six of them. So we only need to get 60%. That's pretty much a failing grade. Uh, anyway, six of them correctly in order to become eligible for U.S. passport. Just one in three Americans passed the multiple choice exam that is undertaken by foreigners. Shockingly, 87% of respondents did not know the U.S. Constitution was ratified in 1787, while 60% of the respondents could not identify which countries fought in World War II against <laughs> the U.S. and its allies. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the idiots are taking over. Oh. Anyway, well, while many Americans aren't shy when it comes to expressing their opinion regarding the controversy surrounding Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, only 43% knew the actual number of justices that protect the nation's Constitution. Protect? <laughs> Some 72% failed to correctly identify 13, the 13 original states from a list of options. They gave them the options. It wasn't like they had to j just know them. Here's a multiple choice. Uh, the, the problem with basic civic knowledge seems to be more acute for those aged 45 and under, you youngsters, with only 19% passing the mock test. Those 65 and older, however, managed to answer the questions with a 74% uh, success rate. So it's something that's happened. It, 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 right. It's, uh, it's um, purposeful, though. You know it's on purpose. They, don't, uh, they want people to be dumb. We've talked about this so many times on the show, but they want us to be fucking stupid. They don't want us to know what they're going, what, what they're doing. Right, and that, you know, that was the, that's the purpose of that, that first song there. Right. The idiot. They don't want you to know the true meaning of the Constitution. Over. Hell no. Yep. So, uh... <laughs> So, I, I, I mean, you, your kids probably couldn't answer these questions. Oh, probably not. And, and they just got out of high school, so they... Yeah, they just they, graduated. They, they, they're they in college. Be, this, information, okay. this information should be fresh on their oh, mind. How is that? Uh, right. Yes, I know. I could have homeschooled. Don't jump me. Please. Don't. <laughs> okay? Single parent did the best I fucking could. Motherfuckers aren't in jail. They're fucking alive. Go. Get them alive so they're fucking 18. I did my fucking job. Don't jump her, or you'll never get on the Supreme Court. Or don't jump me. <laughs> don't jump on me. <laughs> and I'm not a robot. I am a human being. Oh, God. I have emotions. You know? She's like a real girl. Else fucking does. Yeah. Every other human being has emotions. And animals have emotions. Sure, sure. So. 
you're human, just like me. Don't make you better. No. no human is better than another human. Humans are humans, and once you're part of being, once you're a human, you're a human, and you're gonna fuck up, make fucking mistakes. Unless, of course, you're a banker, then you're better than everybody else. Well, you think that in your mind. <laughs> yeah, you're an evil son of a bitch. You know, you have no heart, cold heart, cold heart, yeah. no heart. Still a human, but feel bad for them because they're fucked up. Right. You know, to be able to do what they do. <laughs> ah, you guys just got jumped. Uh oh, Robert, shut me. <laughs> <laughs> Easy <All right>. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna play some more music here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys can, you guys, uh, you guys can get a room or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I okay. Don't we'll know. do that in fifteen minutes, bro. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, best heart. Uh, okay, enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, baby. That's uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan doing Crossfire, a uh, Moose Girl request. Before that, we had uh, Jimi Hendrix with Bleeding Heart. Probably a lot of you don't know that song there, but it's a cool song, cool video. And we kicked it off there with Beth Hart doing as good as it gets live at the Royal Albert Hall. I don't give the exact date when she uh, recorded that, but the video uh, was just released yesterday. So uh, check out the new album there, uh, Beth Hart. Uh, what was it? What's it called? Smart? You what? Uh, Beth Hart Store. I don't know what the exact uh, URL to get to that is, but just look up Beth. Just look it up on Google or whatever. Yeah, Beth Hart is good as it gets in, on on the YouTube, and you'll 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 find the video and right. Listen to it several more times and. <laughs> okay, so I just found this story. All right. Kind of interesting. I mean, I just found the story, so forgive me if I botch it. Okay. Um, I'll post the link here. Chernobyl begins new life as a solar power park. Ukraine launched Friday a park of photovoltaic panels at formal, former Chernobyl solar pan, uh, power plant. As the country seeks to use solar power to get give the world the scene of the world's worst nuclear disaster a new lease on life, the one million uh, euro mm. one megawatt plant is located just 100 meters from a giant metal dome, sealing the remains of the nuclear power plant which suffered a catastrophic meltdown in 1986. Anyway, it, I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I know. That's great. Yeah, they need power there, obviously, in Chernobyl. It, it's a uh, very um, poor country, you know, um, so whatever they can do to save money is good and get power still to their people. No, well, I'm sure, Kate, you know, but I just think it's nice that they're trying to find, figure out a way to use the space now, even though it's toxic as, toxic as shit. Right. But it's not toxic to solar panels, you know. It's toxic to people, but not yeah, solar panels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, know. you still can't live there. They say it's the worst uh, nuclear disaster ever, but oh uh, yeah, ever. But 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 they don't mention uh, anything about Fukushima. Fukushima. So. Right, and see that <laughs> could be the worst ever. We're still experiencing the effects of Fukushima, so it's not in the past yet. Well, they're they're still experiencing the effects of Chernobyl. Oh well, sure, sure so, they are. People, I, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no doubt. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. yeah it, it, and even in, in Japan, <laughs> they're still experiencing the effects of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And they're going to for decades. Yes, even longer. And this happened when? The 40s? Yeah, 45. Yeah. So, a lot of trauma, you know. You can't undo it. I mean, we were talking about trauma, but some of, some of trauma is self-induced and some isn't. And the non-self-induced trauma is the shit that is not cool. You know, and sure. when they were testing these nukes in the uh, Nevada desert back in the 50s and shit, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't tell people. 
Oh, hell they no. Like people, they had no idea what the effects on people would be around the area. They even, the, you know, if you were in the military, and they, you know, they send you to Area 51 to be a guinea pig for their nuclear bomb testing. So when you sign up for the military, please think about this. Because you're not, once you sign up, they got you, and you're their guinea pig, buddy. They can shoot you up with shit, you know, they can fucking expose you to fucking nuclear bomb testing. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. And so what they did when they did these nuclear bomb tests in the Nevada desert, right? They bring out this, you know, four troops of men, you know, you know, how they're in troops in the army, right? Right. So we're talking like, what? A hundred guys, something like that. I, I don't. Know. So maybe more. I don't know. But anyway, a group of people, soldiers. Right. So this is what we're doing today. We're testing the nuke. They didn't say they were testing the nuke. They just told them fucking sit down and duck and cover. You know. Right. And don't look at the bright light. They didn't really explain <laughs> much to them. You know, yeah. these guys are being fucking get, we're guinea pigs. Sure. For you know, huh? and. I, I watched a documentary one time on these World War II vets, which there are very few remaining now, but, you know, the video was older, you know, and uh, he was just like, yeah, it happened all the time. He went out at sea. They tested them nukes out at sea. Well, the guys on the fucking ships, they were meant to go, they had to walk out on deck, up on deck. Mm -hmm. They couldn't be below. Right. During the testing. Right. That's because they were testing, they wanted to see the effect, or sure. how far, you know, or whatever. Yeah, oh yeah. They had no idea what they were doing. These guys were total guinea pigs. Right. I mean, it's sick with the government, military, once you sign up, they have you, and they, the shit that they make you do. Well, hell, they don't even care if you're signed up. If they want to test something no. on a on an area of the population, they're going to go ahead and do it. They'll just do it. Right. They don't even ask for, they don't ask permission. They don't say, hey, we're going to do this, I, if you are a boomerty. They don't ask our, our opinion on what they're doing. They just do what they want to do. Exactly. And that, if you read the Constitution, and you know the Constitution, then you know that this is an abuse of power. Totally. Right. I yeah. mean, totally. <laughs> Ever since the Patriot Act, like Grammy brought that up tonight. Ever since the Patriot Act, dude, shit's gone, gotten worse. It's gotten from worse to more to awful to well, they're, 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 um, baffling. They're certainly more blatant about it now. I uh, didn't say Russia. I said Chernobyl. Where Chernobyl is that? Is, it, is that in Russia? That's, that's, the, that's Ukraine. the Ukraine Ukraine area. The Ukraine, uh, maybe they might not be poor because they're part of Russia. Well, they're kind of part of Russia, but not really. Ukraine is a, a different... Is, is that part of Russia now, Grant? Uh, j just part of it. Just, uh... Oh, okay, so it's part of the... Whole... Okay, I get it. Here's... Yeah. But I've known people from Ukraine. When I was younger, I knew some people that were actually from Ukraine. No, it's just Ukraine. Now it is. It used to be Ukraine. Did it? Yes. It was Ukraine? Okay. I, I, I think pretty sure. I'm unaware of that. <laughs> All right. I mean, we're going way back to, like, the 1500s or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. So who knows? Okay. Yeah, I don't know either, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, no, well. No, I don't think Russia's a poor country at all. Well, I'm, 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 I'm I sure there are. I would love to go to fucking, uh, what's the capital? Moscow? Moscow. I would love to go to Moscow. I'm sure there are lots of poor people there, but overall. Oh, I'm sure, but not nothing different than here. We got a shit ton of poor people in this country. We're not, like, considered third world, but right, we're fucking hurt. We can't take care of the people that don't have homes. We can't, we can't give a, you know, this country that's supposed to help people out. You got all these fucking vets coming back from serving their country, the military, and the government. Serving the military and the government, they come back and they're fucking mentally ill, right? Yeah. Because of the shit that they were made to do overseas, right? Right. So they're all fucked up. The government's like, fuck you, you're fucked up. We don't care how you got fucked up. We're not going to help you. It's like, you know what? Bullshit. You should pay for my counseling and my fucking anti, you know, whatever medication I fucking need. 
for the rest of my fucking life because of what you fuckers made me fucking do. Right, you know? it, it was part of Russia when it happened. Um, uh, but no, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, Kate posted a link there to the the wiki page for Ukraine there, and I don't see it was ever called Ukrainia. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was a kid. I didn't know. Right. I'm just saying. I, 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 okay. I, well, I guess maybe I meant if you're from Ukraine, you are Ukrainian. Yeah. That's really what I fucking remember. <laughs> there was actually a kid, the family that I went to grade school with, and they were actually his parents actually came over from Ukraine, Ukraine to the states, and his first name was Alex. I remember that, which is a very Ukrainian name, actually. Sure. Russian name. Well, a lot yeah. of a lot of Alexes over there. Alexi. Al Alex is like John. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you for that clarification. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. All well, right? you, you know, one thing. One thing I noticed too is most people call it the Ukraine. Right. And, and it's not the Ukraine. It's just Ukraine. <laughs> right. Right. Anyway. No, whatever. but I would love to go to Russia. I mean, one of my favorite movies of all time was Dr. Shabbat. I mean, come on. I, I, you know. Okay. It's, that movie is so awesome. I've never seen that movie. Please see it one time. Uh, because yeah. it's not all about love and romance. It's about the revolutionary war, the Russian Revolution and all that stuff. It takes place during that time. And it's a very, well, for the time that it was made, that movie... The cinematography in that movie is incredible. I mean, seriously. It was filmed in Russia, so it, it, if you guys might poo-poo it, oh, that's just a love story. No, it is a love story, but it takes place during the Russian Revolution. And it's a very good movie. It's an old one, but the original is an awesome movie. I would highly recommend that to anybody. Yes, it's still it. Oh, hey, oh no. Okay, that was a wild wish. Okay, I was wrong. I thought it was a separate. All right, all right, no so big deal. So it was deal. like New Jersey. Like Russia's New York and Ukraine's New Jersey. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, I get it. All right? I was mistaken. Well, well they're, bo they're See, both... I can't admit when I'm, I'm wrong. I can't... Both, both uh, Ukraine and, and New Jersey are both very toxic, so... Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so they're similar in that regard. Yeah. I was using it as an example. Like, Ukraine is a Russian state, basically. Yeah. Well, okay. part part of it. Gotcha. Is, yeah. Right. Yeah. A anyway, um, <laughs> good story. Good information there. I, I, I'll be interested to see how that no, works out. I think out. it's very cool. I, I think it's great. I mean, solar panels work. Well, they, they is, work I guess they, they can put them up there and just run the power out of there. People don't right. need to. Yeah, they but, don't have to be right there. They just put the panels up there and, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Just parts are toxic. Anyway, um, right. <laughs> I found this. I came across this article today on uh, UPI. Okay. UPI, the, uh, the Oxford English Dictionary. That's the big one, right? Yes. Right. Well, they've added new words. Apparently, fourteen hundred new words. Among oh. among those words are idiocracy, fam, <laughs> and Spielbergian. Wow. <laughs> so it says the Oxford English Dictionary added, added more than 1,400 new words to its vocabulary. One of the more unpopular is updation, which caused some resistance <laughs> on Twitter, with some users calling for its remo removal. It is defined as the act or an act of updating something. Do what? I, I, whatever. Who Update. cares? Uh, dozens of new words relate to Hollywood filmmakers like Spielbergian. Right. For things, I don't like that one. For things related to Steven Spielberg. Bergmanesque right. for Swedish filmmaker Irma Igmar Bergman. And Keatonesque oh, okay. Keaton for silent filmmaker Buster That's Keaton. True. Also, Tarantinoesque. What? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? This is, uh, um, as, with, Hollywood. as with any area of specialism, uh, film film has take, has its own ever-expanding lexicon 
such is cinema's popularity and influence in the words involved that often make their way to the mainstream consciousness, Oxford senior editor Craig Leyland said. Other words added are nothing burger. <laughs> what? Come on now. <laughs> Sam. Insult the Oxford English Dictionary. Sam and idiocracy. Sam is a fucking sl is slang and a nickname. It's a shortcut. Fucking well, apparently it's, it's, it's not uh, a fucking real word. Apparently it's its own word now. Well, and no, it, really? It, is it? Well, no. be, because idiocracy is now the a fam? word. Come on. It, idiocracy is now its own word, and it, it of apparently. course, from the movie Idiocracy, <laughs> um, which uh, is an awesome film, by the way, in case you've not seen that. Um, right. It, <laughs> which... Yeah, yeah, I know they do constantly yeah. add And sometimes they, 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 like, they slang words. Some, like, some, yeah. Sometimes sometimes they do take words out too, but that's I think more rare. Um but but also uh in association with that is uh, the full list of the words and I and I I scrolled through some of them and some of these words you get really that's now a word? Antifa. That's now a word. Antifa. That's that's slang. Uh, but whatever. Um, right. It's, I, it's one of those alphabet things. You know? and, they, and they have a few about the apocalypse. They have Archie Bunker's actually a word now. Um, okay, really? The, the, what does the, that mean? Like, I, I don't know. Archie that you're a racist asshole. I guess. I, I don't know. But but also... Because Archie Bunker was look, a fucking look, racist. Look, 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 back look, look. in the 70s when all the family was on, it was okay, okay. to be racist on TV. They, they have added... I mean, the word they have added the word ass fuck both really? both Are you a, both, me? both as a noun and a verb really well yeah it is obviously ass I mean, kicker I mean, ass kicking um assless ass kicking okay assless right, it's that, still it's not a word it's a phrase well, it's, it's two it, words. It's, it's, it means it's a phrase. It's, these these that, people are fucking out of their minds. It's hyphenated. It's a hyphenated word. Oh, hyphenated. Yeah. Okay. So ass, ass list, ass licking. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay. Next <laughs> thing you know, next year it'll be ball licking. <laughs> belly bumper. Even though it's a phrase, cause it's two words. Be belly but bumper. If you put a hyphen in there. That makes it one word. What the? <laughs> Boogaloo. Boogaloo is a word. Um, what? Boogaloo. What does that mean? What is the definition of that word? I don't know. It's a cool word, though. Boogaloo. Is it? You're doing the, doing the boogaloo. They, 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 they don't yeah, have that. Yeah, boogaloo. I remember there was a cartoon or a show on the mornings on Saturday. Boogaloo, the boogaloo. Boogaloo. Bumfuck. Bumfuck is a word. Boogaloo. Yep. Yeah. Bumfuck is now a word. Bumfuck Egypt. Oh, this whatever. should be bumfuck Egypt, not just bumfuck. <laughs> They should hyphenate it and have Egypt at the end of that. I should write it in and let them know that. Douchebaggery. Like, bumfuck alone doesn't work. It has to be bumfuck Egypt. D douche douchebaggery is now a, a noun. Oh, I like that one. Douchebaggery. I, I yeah. like that one. That uh, one works for me. That's okay. a good one. That's ding, a good ding, one. Ding. That's the winner. <laughs> that's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That one should be in there. Some of these words I have no idea what they mean. Dunt? I don't know what a dunt is. Ass fuck is two words, yeah, not one. That's a hyphenated word. It's a hyphenated word. To put a hyphen in it is totally lame. All right? It's ass a, fuck it's a is ass. It's, it's, it's not a word, it's two words. It's and a, ass and fuck are both in there already, so it doesn't work. The hyphen. No, oh, I'm not buying that one. <laughs> ass fuck. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, Indiana Jones is now a word. Uh, I, what I, does that mean? I, I don't know. It's, it says it's a noun. That. I don't know. You're being all they India. They put that in there. That's an actual word. Indiana Jones. Yeah, is yeah. You're, you're, it's a name for you're, one thing. You're, be, you're being all Indiana Jones. What rules are they? They're breaking all the rules of grammar, English grammar. I'm telling you. They're well, breaking it's, all. it's the Oxford English Dictionary. So if it's yeah, in there. Uh, yeah, it's okay. So it's the British Dictionary. So, uh, okay. That makes sense. Cause they're, now they're, the Brit, Brits are putting American slang into the Oxford Dictionary. So uh, right. now you can use it in so, Scrabble. That's what it means is now you can use it in Scrabble. Oh, oh that's the reason. <laughs> so you can put you now know, in you Scrabble. Can be a bass, you, you can be a you, champion of Scrabble. You can use ass fuck in Scrabble. 
Nice. Okay. <laughs> all right. And now we get to the bottom of it. It's all because of Scrabble. Parker Brothers. It's a big conspiracy. Yeah, I get something it like that. I get it. Wow, okay, it makes sense now. And anyway, here, here's the whole list of words for y'all that are interested in going through and looking through them all. <laughs> oh, my God. There, there, there's, a, there's a whole triple X is an adjective. That'll be a laugh, fellas. That'll be fun. Tri triple X is now an adjective. Really? Just, just X-rated. Just the letters XXX. Uh, is well, a, we all know what that means. Well, we, well we, in cartoons, though, back in the day... If they showed someone drinking alcohol with by some hillbilly cartoon hillbilly or whatever, he'd be drinking out of a jug, right? What was on the side of that jug? Triple X. X X X. That used to be the symbol for alcohol, not porn. Okay, people. Oh wait, let me let me clarify here. If you use bum fuck without a hyphen, then it's a noun. If you put if it's bum dash fuck, it's a verb. <laughs> They really, they're stretching with some of these fucking words. And they're two words. That's why it's not one. Oh, well, we put a hyphen. No, it's one. Like, whatever. No, that doesn't oh, work. Oh, my God. Bob it. Oh, my God. Bob, bob it is now a verb. Oh, yeah. Well, that's been a verb for a while. You you, you got that bob it. That means cut off somebody's dick. You got bob it. -ed. Yeah, that means <laughs> someone cut off your dick. Also, bob it worm. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, see, they, they need to put the definition. Well, of they these words. they should have at least they should have at least uh, linked the uh, linked the, the definition. The, yeah, to the definition. Right. It's like, come on, what do these fucking mean? <laughs> I mean, I know what ass fuck means, and I know it's two words. Putting a hyphen in the middle of it doesn't change it. It's still two fucking words. And and it this still means the same thing. This, this you put a hyphen, but it still means the same thing. This word. How asinine. This is, a, <laughs> this is a new word that could be described for me. It's a noun. Apocalypsist. <laughs> I can't even a, a, Apocalypticist. <laughs> Apocalypsist. What? <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Is that Apoc in there? Apocalypticist. My fucking God. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Look that one up. Is that uh, on the list or is it already in there? I, it's I, a Disney movie. I don't know, but... but but bumfuck is a word, so that's all I know. It, no, so they're missing the third word. Egypt. Bumfuck Egypt. I never say bumfuck. I always say bumfuck Egypt. Who doesn't? Who says bumfuck? Nobody. I, I, somebody, Everybody I don't know. Everybody says bumfuck Egypt. That's a typo or an error. That's an error. Well, take it up with them, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> I will. I will take it up. With now look, see, see here. I, I typed this well, in. they're idiots. So I, that would probably be a waste of my time. I, I, I typed this into my to, into my my uh, my blog notes here. Um, idiocracy, and and it okay. shows that it's not a word. So I added it to the dictionary. <laughs> All right, good, good for you. Oh, see, see? Isn't that the name of a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. It's a great movie. I, I, I told right. you. It's a, it's a great yeah. movie. I mean, hello. But but it, it also, ex I mean, if you look look at the way things are, um, yeah, we're living in an idiocracy. So I, I can understand how that got in there. Yeah. To be in the middle of nowhere in, in the fucking sticks out in the country is bumfuck Egypt. Bumfuck Egypt could be anywhere. I'm, that's all I'm saying. It's just a phrase. When it first came out, it's all, I've never heard it be bumfuck. I've always heard bumfuck Egypt. Like, oh, you're out there in bumfuck Egypt. Yeah, BFE. Being in the fucking middle of the sticks in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where the fuck are you? I'm in bumfuck Egypt. Meaning, you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's why I'm saying. It's a slang phrase. And it's not a real word, and plus, it's three words. <laughs> so, to make it one word, it's just asinine. B-F-E. In the sticks, I'm in bumfuck Egypt. Where am I? Bumfuck motherfucking Egypt. <laughs> Those are adjectives that I threw in. But it still makes bumfuck in Egypt and all still three words. And so, by making bumfuck the word, it's stupid. It should be bumfuck Egypt. With hyphens in between, bum and fuck. <laughs> All right.
I'm just saying. I can teach these words and lessons in school with the English fucking language. Yeah, English, American, motherfucker. Do you speak American it? There's an American playing in the Oxford English Dictionary now. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's, do right. That, 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 yeah. That's, 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 the, uh, that's the deal. Okay. Okay. I get okay. it. It's the times you're living, Graham. It's, it's a crazy fucking <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> we need to hear some tunes. I, I want to hear some tunes. All right, let's, let's crack it up here. We got some I'm all upset. I'm a great... I, I was a... I had, I had a college level vocabulary in sixth grade. Yeah, so, well. like, this is... You know, making bum from Egypt... Bum fuck one word is wrong. It should be bum fuck Egypt. That's okay. I got I to... Gotta, I got to contemplate. Contemplate. You do that. It, it's a, This is a serious matter. <laughs> Timbuktu is a real place. Um, and it's not spelt like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, John, John Primer coming at you here with uh, the real deal of blues band. We on here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, the new one there from the Dead South. The song is called Boots. Uh, so uh, check out their new album there, I guess. Yeah, if, you, if you like that kind of music, the Dead South, yeah, I think it's I think it's great stuff. Um, let's see the new, let's see the, the uh, Illusion in Doubt. That's the name of the new album. So uh, check it out there, the Dead South. Before that, C6 Steve off of his brand new one there. The song is called Can You Cook, but uh, it's not really about cooking. <laughs> That's a, uh, that, uh, that song is uh, off of the new album so, titled uh, Can You Cook? And we kicked it off there with uh, John Primer and the Real Deal Blues Band back from uh, 2015 uh, called My Baby. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's a funny world. Funny world. Yeah. And what was the name of the new Dead South album? Uh, the, the the song we heard is called Boots, and the new album is called Illusion and Doubt. Nice. Illusion awesome. and Doubt. Yeah. So cool. might be might be something for you to look into there if you. If oh you, yeah, I'm gonna suggest them to the Blue Ox Festival like right now. All right. I'm sure I have already, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, they're probably kind of expensive, you know. I. I'm sure they are, but they had fucking um, Devil Mix Three last year. Yeah, but uh, I think Dead South kind of they came came up out of nowhere, I, I, as far as I know. I they did. You know they. Uh, a lot of bluegrass bands are like that though. They come out, you know, a bunch of guys get together, they practice, you know. They say, "Oh, this sounds pretty good. Maybe we should start a band." You know what I mean? I mean right. I think that's how it goes. I don't know, but I think that's how it goes. Sure. I don't know either. I'm going to ask very nicely, too. Good. That's a better way to, you know. What, 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 do, they, what do they say? Uh, uh, catch more flies with honey? Yeah. yeah. There's other phrases that go along with that. Well, I'm sure there kill are. Kill with kindness. Kill with kindness is one. Kill them with kindness? Okay. Yep. It, 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 it Smile. It makes people wonder what you're up to. <laughs> or, no. or 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 uh, or keep smiling. The boss loves idiots. <laughs> there you go. You know, there's many you know phrases that I love. Watch, they'll be the Oxford English Dictionary next. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's true. Par paragraphs, not just three words. Paragraphs. Paragraphs. Word. Paragraphs as a word. They'll be all hyphenated. <laughs> yeah. They'll be like, this is one word. It's like. No, it isn't. It's several words hyphenated together. It's the the Moosey D Dictionary. Yes, really. I should fucking write the goddamn dictionary. What you're saying, right? Sure. <laughs> I'm just I would never want to. I would not want to do that. No. Oh God. So here's an article for you that you might All be right. in, you might be interested in case you maybe you're in the, in the market. You know, go down to the grocery store and 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 you want to pick up a pineapple. Yeah. From WondergroundMusic.com. 50% of world's pineapples now contain cocaine. 
fifty percent. I believe it. I believe it. You know where are they from? Uh, wherever you know, uh, third 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 world countries, or 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 Hawaii. Uh, anyway, the latest stats from the food industry suggest that approximately fifty percent of the world's pineapples now contain large quantities of cocaine. Oh, okay. I should eat more pineapple then. Yeah, uh, the shocking... No, I'm kidding. I don't like cocaine. I, I mean... Hey, well, hey whatever. No. Uh, the shocking statistic comes after another shipment of cocaine-filled pineapples was intercepted by the police, this time en route from Costa Rica to Ireland. Interpol uh, spokesperson Nelson Diaz spoke to Underground earlier. Yet another large consignment of cocaine concealed in the hollowed-out pineapples and uh, destined for the streets of Europe has been intercepted by our agents. This is a very big result in our war against drugs and the criminal elements operating in the North Atlantic region. Ooh, so criminal cocaine. Uh, anyway, the, the pineapple switcheroo has become the smuggling option of choice for these gangs, and we currently estimate that up to 50% of the world's pineapple now contains the stuff. Continued Diaz, we are appealing to everyone in the areas affected by these fines to be extra vigilant when buying pineapples, as you could wind up with a lot more than you bargained for. Party! Um, <laughs> <laughs> European sources have confirmed that while the cocaine-filled pineapples have been removed... Oh my god, buy more pineapple, people! From society. Still tired of lazy lethargic. Get some pineapple. Yeah, definitely cutting into cutting into the CIA's uh, thing there. You know. <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh. Yeah. No. I, I, <laughs> I personally, I, I think it's great. Uh, if oh, they yeah. if they get it's away funny. with it, if they, whatever they get away with it anyway, it's great. If they get caught, then it's not so great, but, uh... Right. <laughs> you know, I, you know I, I... I like to see people get away with stuff like this that... It shouldn't be something that you have to get away with in the first place. Right. Come on, now. Yep, it should just be a thing, it's you know. It's crazy up in here. Yeah, you, you, want, you want some coke? Then do some coke. Who cares? It's not our business. Yeah, if you want to do it, fucking start it up, man. I don't care. Make your nose bleed, not give a fuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I guess this is true. I, I've tried to find where it's not true, but it, apparently it's that's true. That's a bummer. No, wait, wait. No, that's a bummer, I gotta say, though. I think it's a bummer that there's cocaine and pineapple. It's not right. Well, it's, it's just because they have to hide it, though, so. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're talking not, it's like not infused in the coconut. No, no, like, no, 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 no. They pour the pineapple or whatever. Yeah, they pour the pineapple and, and then okay. they, they put a baggie of cocaine in there. And hey, that's actually ingenious. Sure, why not? I mean, that's a good way to fucking fake it and get it over here, right? Oh, absolutely. Now, wh right. now, well, when, when, I, when, I saw, when I saw this next story, I was thinking, this has got to be fake stuff, but... Uh, I, I can't find anything that says it's that it's not real, and um, why, why is that not a word? All right, I spelled it wrong. All right, um, I'll probably spell this word wrong too. How do you spell it? E U T H A N A S I A. Yeah, that's right. What word? Euthanasia. <laughs> Euthanasia starts with an E. Yeah. Yeah, I got, it. I got it right. Yeah, e U T. So yeah. well, anyway, like I said, when I, when I first read this headline, I was like, this can't be real. But apparently it's real. Okay. Child you should child euthanasia uh. with, without parental approval pushed for what? in pushed for in Canada. It's murder. Says I always say that if you want to know how likely uh, know what is likely to go wrong in healthcare and society in the coming years, you should read the ethics articles in professional journals. Case in point. With lethal injection euthanasia now legal in Canada for patients age 18 and over whose deaths are foreseeable, vague limitation, sure to be erased eventually, eager bioethicists describe a proposed protocol to govern child euthanasia once legal authorities expand what? to include minors. 
which apparently it's already legal for minors in the Netherlands and Belgium, um, from the medically assisted dying in a pediatric hospital published in the Oxford-based Journal of Medical Ethics, in all other regards than who initiates the euthanasia discussion, our working group has, a, has a, at present elected to conceptualize MAID as a practically practically and ethically equivalent to other medical practices that result in the end of life. The theorization of MAID is, is just on the ground that these practices share a common pers purpose of alleviating undurable suffering and facilitate the patient dying in their own terms. It is reflective of our concern that the conceptualization of MAID should not place additional burdens on the patient to function or function to limit the rights and freedoms to which patients are typically entitled. They want to kill your kids. They want to kill your kids. Um, what one would think, at a bare minimum, such homicides would require some parental permission, but no. If the child is considered mature enough to make a decision, parents can be kept out of the, dis the discussions. Indeed, the authors envision scenarios in which parents aren't even notified by doctors that they are going to kill their child. <laughs> can, Great. Can you, imagine, can you imagine visiting your sick child only, oh. only to learn that the hospital doctors killed her because she asked to die and wanted you kept in the dark? What? <laughs> It's apparently That's a real thing. I, I thought it was like going to be an onion deal, but what no. What the fuck? Is that what? I, 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 That's crazy. I, it's on the National real National Review, NationalReview.com, and um, wow. I, I, maybe it's maybe it is satire. I don't know. It doesn't. But I couldn't. It seems like it should be. I, I couldn't find anything that 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 said that it wow. was. Um, People, wake the fuck up! Please. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I, uh, I got it. This I got crazy. it. Crazy. So, yeah. So just go ahead and let the doctors kill your well, kids. Apparently, they're changing the like. They're like gonna get rid of like the age that you're actually an adult. Like eighteen is like the designated age, right, or whatever. Yeah. Apparently, they want to get rid of that. You know. Right, so, um... I mean, yes. Wow. Uh, anyway, I mean, so, okay. Uh, this, is, this is, this is, this is, apparently, I mean, it's a real web website. I checked it out when I first read it. I was like, what? I'm what? saying, though, is apparently... Oh, go ahead. This can't, this can't be real, but it says, The National Review was founded in 1955 by William F. Buckley, Jr., a magazine of conservative opinion. They're trying to normalize pedophilia, and it's not that doesn't sit well with me. You know, I don't care whatever <laughs> age they that's put good. on. That's good to know, Bruce. That's just consent, <laughs> and but a kid versus an adult—that's some prey versus predator fucking situation. All right. Yeah. You're a sick fuck. If you're an adult, you're going after a kid. All right. Yeah. Let's just put that out there that that's fucking sick. All right. And to, for them to normalize shit like this. Oh yeah. It's don't. bullshit. Grammy was talking about some of this tonight on her show with the school incident. Right. And you know this is getting too. If you guys can't see the writing on the wall of this, I mean, if you if you don't know now that the people in quote unquote government are evil sick fucks. I don't know what it will take to convince you of this. But this doesn't do it for you. Right. You know, are you so fucking adherent to your, oh, I know what I believe and I know I'm right. I believe what the fucking CNN says and I believe what Donald Trump says. <laughs> really? Are you fucking kidding me? Why don't you try fucking thinking for yourself and oh, take the fucking God. fighters off. Maybe you'll fucking see what the fuck's really going on here. Okay. Anyway, so uh, yesterday, um, did you get the did you get the the thing on your phone? The message? Yeah, the fucking 
butt yeah. fuck, butt fuck yeah, Egypt the, alert. The, the presidential alert. Yeah, presidential. Right. I'm like, presidential, really? Is this from Donald Trump himself? I'm like, no, it's not. Well, from, just calling it that. From, it's not actually Trump. Excuse me. It, it's from FEMA via via Trump. Right, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, over here on LouRockwell.com, Daisy Luther from the Organic Prepper posted up this article here. Uh, check out John McAfee's educated warning about the dark side of that presidential alert sent to your phone. As if not every part of it was not a dark side. But anyway, apparently it says, Yesterday, the first presidential alert was sent to phones all across the country. Theories and screenshots all over the Internet uh, shortly thereafter. But one of these theories in particular comes with, uh, from a source that is especially credible when re with regard to cybersecurity. John McAfee. Let's take a quick look at what other folks were saying before we get to the McAfee assertion. First, political foes were triggered. <laughs> before the alert ever came through, three people in New York were suing to stop it. Uh, the activists filed suit uh, last week in U.S. District Court in Manhattan, arguing that the system violates their free speech and constitutes an unconstitutional seizure of their electronic devices. That might be stretching it a bit. I, I don't know how it violates their free speech. If somebody else sends them a text. Or or how it uh, is an uh, unconstitutional seizure by, if you get a text, you get spam texts all the time. Um, whatever. Wireless phone users have the ability to opt out of most alerts sent under the uh, integrated public alert and warning system run by the FEMA, the FEMAs, while some users can choose not to receive regional messages and so-called AMBER alerts regarding missing or endangered children under federal rules, receipt of top-level presidential alerts is mandatory. I personally didn't get one, not on my cell phone. I have, I have an old, old school cell phone, so I don't have the E911 chip. Anyway, since the uh, alert went out, it appears that their request for a preliminary injunction was not approved. <laughs> you think? The motive behind their suit was political as opposed to constitutional. And they weren't the only ones who were triggered by the alert. Across All across social media, people have been have bemoaned the fact that the wording was presidential alert. There are many acceptable names for the alert we all heard. National Wireless Emergency Alert, National Alert, FEMA Alert. But it's called presidential alert because Trump has a huge ego, and he loves intruding into our lives without consent. Uh, another another uh, tweet. Don't, don't you ever contact my phone again for any reason whatsoever, Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck if it's an earthquake, tsunami, or tornado. Don't you ever contact my phone again. <laughs> I love that tweet. Anyway, on the opposite side of the political spectrum, members of the group QAnon predicted this would be uh, an announcement that Trump had defeated the deep state. Which, really? How's that going to happen? They seem to be cheering for martial law-like purge of those who dissent against President Trump. Some speculated that Trump would use the vehicle to announce the imminent confirmation of, of Kavanaugh, or the firing of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, or even the broadcasting of arrests of high-ranking high Democrats. When none of those things were forthcoming, QAnon believers consoled themselves with the belief that the whole thing was a coded message just for them. <laughs> And you thought I was nuts. Believers in the QAnon uh, conspiracy theory based on a series of internet clues posted about an anonymous character named Q that post, uh, posits a world in which Trump and the military are engaged in a secret, ceaseless secret war with globalist Democrat pedophiles uh, think that the, the text could be the start of the storm, a fantastical MAGA dream in which Trump political enemies would be arrested and tried at military tribunals. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so then there's John McAfee's theory about the presidential alert test. McAfee had a different opinion about the presidential alert, and it's positively dystopian. 
the presidential alerts, they are capable of accessing the E911 chips at your phones. Give them full access to your location, microphone, camera, and every function of your phone. This is not a rant. This is for me, still one of the leading cybersecurity experts. Wake up, people! And there's more in there, but you can uh, check that out for yourself. But uh, bear in mind, fuck all that shit. Um, I, I, I'm glad I didn't get the uh, presidential alert. Why not do it one news program a week, please? Uh, I've been thinking. I've been thinking, Beth. I've been thinking about it. Uh, but I, I might want something a little more uh, esoteric than news. But um. <laughs> oh. anyway, you got you, you got you got the thing most, and I know most people here in the chat got the uh, got the thing, uh, the, the presidential alert, and uh, just bear in mind that they they have full access to. Uh, everything, everything that your phone is and about, and um, so anyway, back to some tunes here. A little Philip Sace for you. You like Philip Sace? Hello, who's Philip Sace? Yeah, I've been playing him on here a bit, so you, you should know by now who Philip Sace is. And this is uh, a couple of tracks together uh, called "Driving South and Going Home" at the Montreal Jazz Festival. <laughs> you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it, like they do it, on the Discovery Channel. That's the Bloodhound Gang there with the bad touch. Uh, before that, a sock puppet request, a uh, Weezer, feels like summer. All right, I, I've never heard that song, and I'll probably never hear it again. Anyway, we kicked it off there with Philip Sace driving south, going home from the Montreal Jazz Festival back in 2015. And boy, that boy can shred it, shred it like nobody's business. Yes, and I did it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that all. Yes, 420, please. 420, us double. So, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm human, I'm going to have feelings, I have feelings, you know. Um, the government doesn't want us to have feelings. They want us to just go along and get along, you know. Well, of course. Do what we say, not as we do, because... We don't, you know, you guys, well, if you're smoking weed, man, you're going to get busted. But if we smoke weed, we're not going to get busted. So, you know. Right. But we could make it legal across the board, you know, quote unquote legal, or decriminalize, or whatever fucking word you want to put it, you know. You know, and we could also stop fucking poisoning dandelions, because dandelions actually are a good fucking beneficial plant, you know. Right. And so we've been taught that we're supposed to, like, be, like, leave it to beaver with, you know, just, it, it, it's, it's, it's disgusting. It's gross. It is. You know, I mean, my parents, you know, I'm sure they're fucking appalled <laughs> how I turned out, you know. But guess what, motherfuckers? <laughs> you know, I'm not stupid. She ain't stupid. And I go by what I see, and what I see ain't good. You know, I'm hearing one thing, but I'm seeing another. So, therefore, someone's fucking lying. Someone's lying. I hear what they're saying, but I see something else. So, that makes me know that someone's fucking lying. Right. And I figured that out. Who was lying a long time ago? Sure. The fucking motherfucking government. That... Puts on an act like they give a fuck about you. Oh, we're here to help you. No, they're fucking not you. Right, they're not. That's not their purpose of existence. No, they they will tell you that, and they will make you think that. But it is not true. And if you fucking really wanted to study, like just 
read the Constitution. You don't even have to research it. Just read the motherfucking thing. Okay? And you tell me, then get back to me after you read it, and get back to me, and tell me how much <laughs> the current government right now that we have in place today right, Rob. is adhering to that piece of paper. Okay, are the words on that piece of paper. All right? Get back to me. That's all, Grim. That was my Constitution rant. All right. You know. All right. I, I, and I, not I, even that I... No, and it's not even that I believe in it anymore. Good. It's been shredded. I'm glad. the Patriot Act. Uh, and the uh, NDAA. Uh, and if anyone thinks that shit, that, that those words written on paper back then are being adhered to today, is a freaking moron. Because there's one phrase in there that says, as soon as the government starts to infringe on the people, the people have the right to fucking dis... You know, disemboweled goddamn thing. Yeah, that's the Declaration of Independence, but yeah, okay. Okay, well, whatever. You know, Declaration, Constitution, they're both fucking used toilet paper at this point. Pretty much. You All know? Right. You know, I Thank absolutely... you for agreeing with me, Graham. Because, well, it's true. You know, I get ripped over the cold, <laughs> but you don't. Because well, you, we, me and you are pretty much on the same page. Yeah. But you're nicer about it. I okay. am. I'm such a nice guy. You are nicer about it, so <laughs> I'm the one that gets raked over the fucking pole. Right? Yeah. Which, okay, I can take it. You know what I no, mean? I can, I, I'm a fire sign, so raking me over the coals actually fuels me. That's right. She's a fiery... I, mean, I am a double fire sign, and I'm a fire horse in Chinese astrology. So, you, you've got no battle if you try to fucking burn me up. It's not going to work. No, no. It's not going to work. So I don't have a fucking triple fire sign. So you better hey, use come on. you better use water instead. Anyway. Yeah, water would be <laughs> would possibly work. Although I do love water because I am eighty five percent water. My body, me as a human being, right, eighty five percent right. water. Yeah, of course. As sure. a human being, all human beings are eighty five percent water. That, that that they are. Right, and I try to explain this to my son that doesn't like to drink water. I'm like, dude, you need that. No, no, I don't. Yeah, you do because you're human, and you're, you know, you gotta keep replenishing that. Right. That hydration, you gotta keep hydrated. All humans have to have this. It it it, it goes without saying for all human beings. Does it matter about your fucking uh, religious status or your political status? Or your government affiliation status, or if you believe in the government or not, if you're a fucking human being, you are 85% water, and you need water in order to survive. Otherwise, you will die. You will perish. She is. Which should be common mm. knowledge. I mean, duh. <laughs> okay, okay, I've got, I've got a public service announcement here. All right, cool. Public. Oh, public. That's what we like to do on freaking ball sometimes. We like to provide public service announcements. Right, and you know, and uh, this doesn't apply to me. Because we care, we care, we Th care. This doesn't apply to me or you, but um, it applies to anybody here that's running Windows 10 uh, on their computer. The guy says, I updated my test PC, the Windows 10 October update. That seemed safe enough, so I proceeded to upgrade my production PC. I just encountered an issue where everything in the Documents folder was deleted. Even though I had clicked the option to keep my files, everything else in my user profile remains intact. I am curious how widespread the issue is. Has anyone else here encountered this issue? Some articles are, are starting to crop up acknowledging this failure. Uh, that's that's from the, uh, the uh, slash dot uh, website there, slash dot dot org. And then we go over to the website, the WindowsCentral.com. Oh, Windows, Windows Central. I would not trust them. WindowsCentral.com. No, 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 don't trust them. Okay, well, it's just just bear in mind, they, they also mention here, Windows 10 October uh, 2018 update is deleting user data. Here's how to protect yourself. Uh, Microsoft's latest version of Windows 10 appears to be wiping out users' data. If you're planning to upgrade, remember to create a full backup before proceeding, just in case. Does, uh, 
how the hell? Anyway, so it's now the, the update's now available for download. But along with new features and improvement, it appears that some users are not having a smooth upgrade experience. Shortly after the new version became avail available, a manual download using the Media Creation Tool, Update Assistant, and Windows Update, several users started reporting that the upgrade process was wiping out their documents, pictures, and other personal files, along with previously installed programs. Sometimes when you perform an upgrade to a new version of Windows 10, the setup may move user files to a previous installation backup located inside the Windows.old folder. However, according to those users experiencing setting data loss, they looked everywhere and their personal files were nowhere to be found. Um, in a separate thread, uh, uh, some guy says, I finished up update and restarted my PC upon arriving at the desktop. I quickly realized that several files and programs were missing. I grabbed a cold beer in anticipation of the rage to follow. Programs like Spotify and Discord were gone in uh, no, no big deal, re-download, but also found that all of the uh, his Rainmaker, I don't know what that is, skins and files were completely gone, along with everything from pictures and documents. Uh, horror story after horror story. Anyway, says, although not everyone is detailing the steps they used for the upgrade, which could be one of the reasons for the data loss, uh, user TK Skin, or TKSN, uh, said that this happened using the Update Assistant tool. We're not sure if, if there's just a few isolated cases or how many users are affected, but this should be taken as a reminder of the importance of creating a backup. Um, anyway, that tells you how to create a backup. Da 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 da. But let, let me say, if updating your files, updating your your operating system, is deleting your personal files, there's a major problem there. How could they even release something like this? It it it, it is it is totally uh, unimaginable to me that supposedly the top software company in the world is putting this crap out and wiping out people's stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, go, go ahead. And, and you should have a backup of your files anyway, but I guarantee you that this should not be occurring regardless of uh, what, whatever you may or may not be doing uh, as far as running updates. It's that, that this is just horrendous. Horrendous! <sighs> Anyway, there's your public service announcement uh, on, on uh, for that for today. There, uh, I just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I don't know if you would call this a public service announcement or uh, just uh, a warning for the future. U.S. plans to genetically alter crops via insects feared to be a biological war plan. What? <laughs> genetically altered crops via insects. Biological war. Program says it will use virus-carrying insects to engineer crops, but some worry it's a way to develop biological agents. This is on uh, theguardian.com, by the way. Uh, Government-backed researchers in America are aiming to use virus-carrying insects to genetically engineer crops. Uh, a new article in the journal Science explores the shadowy program funded by DARPA. Yeah. The program aims to disperse infectious genetically modified viruses that have been engineered to uh, alter the chromosome of crops using in to insects to spread the viruses to plants. Researchers have budgeted more than $45 million to pursue the genetic engineering scheme in a program dubbed Insect Allies. The agency describes the research as a way to improve crop security. Bugs like aphids, leafhoppers, and whiteflies will be used to spread a virus to plants, including corn and tomatoes, which will impart beneficial genes, making the plants resistant to disease or drought. Right. 
but the right. It, <laughs> but in in the science, yeah, like we're not fucking around GMOs and shit. No, Fuck you. we're going yeah, straight to the virus carrying insects. Uh, but but I'm in, fucking crying. But, oh, wow. But in the science article, <laughs> an inter international team of scientists and lawyers warned that the technology could be put to more nefarious purposes, including... Oh, of course. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling us. We already know you're doing that, bitch. Including military operations. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Well, also... There you go. Bingo! Uh, bingo! I got uh, bingo over here. She got bingo. She got the B I B B I N G O. <laughs> bingo was his name. Oh, uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll let you guys go through this article for yourself there. But uh, bear in mind, if they can do this with insects uh, and to crops, they can certainly do it to people. And whether or not those oh, people, oh yeah, and you well, know, like well, Grammy said on her show tonight. Whatever technology they got, and if you have it, they already had it for like 10 years before you did. Right. And, and what, you, what know, the, whatever, are... you know what I mean? They don't like re release new technology to the public until they've tested it and used it themselves. Oh, yeah, until it's pretty much Hello. obsolete, obsolete to them. What? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that's what they do. I mean, if you don't think that they do that, I feel bad for you. Because they fucking are doing that shit, and they have been doing that shit for a long time. They just, the, the more they change their technology, they just name it something else, right? We've talked about this before, the big ball, but, you know, it's the same old, same old people, you know? Right. A a anyway, <laughs> so if, if they can use these index to, to spread these diseases to humans, um, it doesn't right. matter if if you think it's only going to be used against the enemy, because right. you are, it, it, you it, are the enemy. They consider you, us, people, the enemy. So think about that. Mull that around in your brain a little bit. The government that you think is there to protect you and take care of you thinks of you as the enemy. Because you're not one of them. You're not one of them. You're not. And unless you are, to them, you're the enemy. Okay, Facebookers, here's another public service oh, announcement. Shit. Oh, really? Another Facebook one? Oh, my grandma was talking about that. She's like, you know what? People told me to remove my face. And I thought about removing my Facebook post, right? All right. Well, this, I'm like, no. Yeah, no, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have to remove your Facebook for, for this particular thing. You just have okay. to not be an idiot. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I think that I'm not, but sometimes I wonder. I mean, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, cops breaking cops breaking Facebook rules, creating fake accounts to watch you. Here's how to spot them. So it says, despite it being a violation of policy, law enforcement across the country continues to get busted creating fake social media accounts to monitor citizens. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, like, like Jay Dredd on, on IRC. Anyway, um, this is a scathing new report shows that Facebook is teeming with face, face accounts, fake accounts, I should say, uh, created by police officers to track their adversaries. According to Facebook's official terms of use, they are against the rules, but cops seemingly couldn't give a fuck, and they keep making them anyway. A recent case out of Memphis exposed the trend of fake law enforcement accounts when protesters reacted to the police uh, killing of a 19-year-old Darius Stewart. The lawsuit filed by the ACLU of Tennessee uncovered evidence that the police used what they referred to as a Bob Smith, uh, using the anonymous face, uh, account to gather intelligence on activists. According to a report out of NBC, Smith acted as if he was he supported the protesters. <laughs> he did. Anyway, uh, Smith acted as if he supported the protesters and slowly uh, let him into their online community. Over the next three years, dozens of them accepted his friend requests, allowing him to observe the private discussions over marches, rallies, and demonstrations. 
in public postings and private messages, he described himself as a far-left Democrat and a fellow protester and a man of color. But Smith, Smith was not real. He was a creation of a white detective in the Memphis Police Department, uh, Homeland, Homeland Security Office, whose job was to keep tabs on local activities across the spectrum, from Black Lives Matter to Confederate sympathizers. Confederate sympathizers, really? Anyway, the detective Tim Reynolds out, outed himself in August under questioning by the ACLU of Tennessee, which sued the police department for allegedly violating a 1978 agreement that prohibited police from conducting surveillance of lawful protests. The revelation validated many activists' distrust of local authorities. It also provided a rare look into the ways American law enforcement operates online, taking advantage of a loosely regulated social media landscape and citizens' casual uh, relinquishing of their privacy to expand monitoring in the public. Anyway, it goes on to talk about other uh, fake, um, fake accounts, uh, like girls... You know, they put post up pictures of girls like it's them to try and get people to like give them drugs or whatever, and uh, all kinds of stupid shit like that. So I mean, you really kind of got to be a moron. To, to <laughs> I'm glad you heard that, for, um, you, you, you pretty much have to be a moron to, uh, to to fall for these these things. But if you're if you're on the Facebook, be cautious, be cautious, because uh, they are not your friends. Oh, I think I'm over my time. Oh, I was supposed to start the set a couple minutes ago. Oops. All right, we're going to run a little bit over. <laughs> I hope that's okay with you folks. Oh, boy. <laughs> I had it all timed out that I, I started yakking and forgot forgot all about the time. Yeah, anyway, this is uh, Afro Man. <laughs> Rock steady, Black Betty. Yes, indeedy. That is the Lost Fingers doing their version of a Black Betty there. Before that, we had Pig Floyd with Welcome to the Machine. Vanilla Fudge, you keep me hanging on. Uh, back from 1967-68 there, a new video from Monroe's Retro. Gotta love that old hippie music. And we kicked it off with a sock puppet request there. Afro Man, Because I Got High, the a positive remix. So, uh, what's that? I love that song. I love it too. I love it too. I love all those songs. It's a good song. It's funny. It's every, good. Every, every song in that set, every song I played tonight, I loved. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, it's except, so except, hard except for maybe one, but I, I, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in and for getting involved. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, tomorrow, don't forget, uh, you got the flash with uh, the dark table. Solo, right. dark to solo dark table, unless somebody calls in and helps them out. Hey, I might call it. Well, I don't know. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, on Sunday, I'll be on at noon Eastern with the blues and, and the uh, uh, blues and, and trivia here in the chat. And then uh, Hal Anthony comes on right after me. At 3 p.m. Eastern, with Behind the Woodshed opening up the big old Ken O a whoop ass, and uh, it's possible. I'm not. I'm not positive, but it's possible we'll, we'll get a, a test version of the new show uh, there, cool. the, the Straight Talk 101 with uh, Art Underground. So uh, be, it, it, either way, he starts for certain next uh, next week, and then um, Tuesday, Tuesday, Flash and uh, Vinny at 1 p.m. Eastern with their uh, new program, In a Perfect World. And Grammy will be back Wednesday and Friday night at her normal times, uh, uh, which are 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll be back next Friday. We will. With more. If God willing or the universe willing or whatever willing. We'll That's right. You willing. You you all willing. All right. You all willing. <laughs> yeah. You know it. That'll do her. Yep. Right. Peace. Peace.